Alright, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be making a custom UGC hat in Blender. If you haven't used Blender before, I will link a tutorial in the description below. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get right into it. Also, my Twitter is in the description below. I'm uploading things like this in case you want to check it out. Alright, we're going to start by adding a cylinder with shift aid and cylinder. I'm going to change the vertices to 10. Then we can scale this face up a bit, just like this, and scale the top face down. Then once we've done that, we can uh, do I to insert. So now we have inserted a face. Now we can extrude that up. Maybe we can uh, insert a little less like that. Around that I would do. Then E to extrude, then S to scale. This will be our main hat. So Alt, then right click to select all your edges around your mesh. S to scale, so we scale that in, just like that. I think that's pretty cool. We can, once again, Alt, then right click, then S to scale, just to scale our hat like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Now add a modifier, subdivision, and we can change this to around two. Then let's insert a face at the bottom, just like that. We can do Control R to add a loop cut, Bring it down there, like that. Maybe Alt right click to select all of them. Let's move this up a bit, like that. And I think that's pretty cool. As you can see, you can see it's starting to take that shape. All right. We can scale the top faces down. Maybe a bit more like, like that. Uh, once again, left and then shade smooth left click shade smooth to make it nice and smooth now let's select our mesh then select these edges over here so that one and that one then let's bring these up a little bit just like that and let's do the same for the two back ones just like that just like that you can do this any way you want to i'm just doing mine a random shape Right, and yeah, that's pretty much how you make a hat. We're going to texture it. Uh, when you're in the Roblox UGC, your texture has to be 256 times 256 pixels. If it's anything over that, it won't work, it won't be accepted. So yeah, let's go ahead and make a texture of this. And before we do that, make sure we apply the modifier. And as you can see, it's only 1000 vertices, which is under the 1200 limit. Alright, so I'm going to do a quick time lapse of the texture, then we can import it into Blender. Alright, so let's add a texture to this. New material, base color, image texture. Then open. And there we go. We can do something with this. Let's go to UV editing, A to select all, A over here as well to select all. Then we can scale this down. We can bring it over here somewhere. Now as you can see our hat is actually blue. It's a very nice blue. All right, so let's select some faces. And let's do a pattern like this going all the way around. I think that would look really cool. I mean, we could use the mirror modifier. All right, so as you can see, I just finished the texture. It doesn't look amazing because I did do it really quickly. But yeah, let's go up edit mode. Let's go back to layout. And now to export this into Roblox, make sure you go to File, Export, then FBX. I'd normally do FBX for UGCs, so FBX. Then we can just do this as Top Hat, then Export. Wait, do Selected Objects only, so limit to Selected Objects. Tick that, then Top Hat or FBX, Export. Now let's go into Roblox Studio. Alright, so once you're on Roblox Studio, insert a mesh part into workspace. So go up here, click the plus, then mesh part. Now click it, then in your properties, 
where it says mesh ID, click the folder, type in your item, top hat, then just click no and no. And there is our top hat. It's very like ginormous. Make sure to scale that down. Now go to plugins, then go to build rig, then insert a block block rig. Just like that. Alright, so now let's make the actual hat. Insert accessory into workspace. You can name this what you like. I'm just gonna do my top hat. Now name your mesh part handle. Then go to the dummy. Then go to the head and copy hat attachment now you can close that now go to the handle and and paste the hat attachment into that let's scale this down so it matches the size of the character for example like this make sure you move your hat attachment to the bottom of your mesh so around there I'll make this transparent so good. So around there, if you can see that. Now move your handle into your accessory. Now you should be able to move your accessory into your character. There you go, just like that. Now as you can see, your character has a hat. You can do this with any character. Now, this is how you actually try your hat on. Go to server script service, add a script, and name the script what you like. Alright, so now we move your hat from workspace into replicate storage. Then let's do local rep equals game get service replicate storage. Let's do local hat. Just like that. Now let's go ahead, try that. Okay, it's, whoops, it's not Doc Clone, it's a. Uh, that's such a dumb mistake. Okay. Right, click play again. And there we go, we are wearing a hat. Let's go ahead and delete our other accessories. So, that one, that one, and that one. As you can see, we are wearing our. Um, okay. We, we I'm gonna fix that. So the problem there was our our hat attachment is not in the center. Let's just do it in the center. Around there. Put it back in replicate storage. Click play. Let's delete our other accessories. And there we go. There is our nice top hat. That's how you can make your own custom accessory. I can hear my dogs barking. Okay, and yeah, that's how you can make your own UGC hat. Also, if you want another video like this, of like making one a lot better, I can do that. Let's hear 50 likes and I'll do that for you. Alright, see you in the next one.